Yeah, you got the chicken. You're right. live. I'm live. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess Javi signals to me that I'm live because she toots the rubber chicken, and that means we're on. I don't know if that should be like our little motto dun, 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 or something. We're live. We're live. Let's be soon. Rubber chicken time. There we are. How you guys doing today? <clears throat> Thanks for coming. So appreciative of when you come to see us. And today what we're going to do is we're going to kind of continue with what we were doing on Friday in the recorded video, which is we were, you know, showing some different pieces that I had started and, you know, what can we do to get them going. There's Deborah Long and Pamela Stansbury and Nancy and Karen. Look at them lining up. Barbara Kelly. They're just all showing up. How nice of you guys to come. And you're all old friends, and I appreciate it so much, Mary Mercera. So um, we're going to take those pieces from the video on Friday, <clears throat> and we're going to redo them. It seems like I've been doing a lot of that lately, <laughs> doesn't it? But, you know, it's funny. When uh, Javi rendered the video and I sat back to look at it, once again, I didn't like what I saw. I saw Boo Boo City. And you know, this is a really good thing. I always say, if you really, really want to see what you've done, take a picture of it. And this way you'll be looking at the piece as if you were someone else. And that's kind of an important thing to do, especially when we sell our, our work, to get a look at it like somebody else is looking at it. So when I did that, I'm like, uh-uh. We had this on... This piece was on this piece, and it was just too stark, it, too big of a difference. Although they're same color family tones, too big of a difference. And then this piece, I just didn't know what to do with it. I had this watch thing hanging there, and I may still do that because I'm just in love with these school teacher watches that I found. But I don't know, I'm thinking maybe we need to have a nice... Uh, tassel using some stuff like with the impression dust. I like how it looks like there and then beat it up with that. I don't know. We're going to explore. We're going to see how far we get to you guys. I'll get bored and leave me. <laughs> and then I will go see if Jordan went and got the groceries because Javi wants salami sandwich tonight. Because <laughs> I'm not cooking tonight. <laughs> right, Javi? Yep. She likes her salami. Okay, so let's see. Wow, look at all this. Pat Jones is here. Renee Cochran. Pat Counts. Susie B is back. Susie, aren't you the one from New Zealand? I think it was. Yeah, she says good Monday morning all. So that's a, that's a good sign. She's <laughs> halfway around the world. Betty Strongman. Hey, girl, how you doing? Cheryl Roberts. Hello from the Nebraska Panhandle. Cool. Belinda Powell's here. Kara Loves Music is here. So anyway, let's get into this before you, like I say, get all bored and leave me. So what I did is I put a doll on this one. One of my little Emma Bebe's, we called her Pinky for a long time. And then we found out her real name was Emma Bebe. And oh, just to let you know. I now have the whole set of those rare dolls in the package mint on their pedestals. I have Emma Bebe, I have Pauline, and I have Casey. And I have Casey and Emma Bebe thanks to Karen Mansell who found them for me. And I just love her to pieces for that because I just can't be everywhere. And then Pauline, Mr. Burning, gave to me. So now I have a whole set of those dolls and I have the counter display from Macy's. Um, that they put for those too. It was a cardboard counter display, so it's really kind of cool to have those things. But anyway, this is Emma Bay. And you know, it's funny because Mel had even said to me, you know, he says, you know, you like to do these big assemblage pieces. Why don't you do one with one of the dolls? Which I have done that before, but he said he likes um, Mucky's pieces. I show her, her pieces a lot, and he liked. Um, Karen's a lot too. She did some where she did it on the winged mount. He says, Once you get the winged mount and take it and put it on one of these plaques and see what happens. So I did. But now you can't hardly see it <laughs> because I've charged all around it. But see if I can lift this up a little bit. You can 
ABC a little bit. You can see I've got my most of my holes covered. That's okay there because that's the back of the piece. But um, so I got her up there, and then I don't know about you guys who work with this a lot, this piece a lot, which I have worked with it some, but not tons. Um, I had a problem with the wing thing wanting to swing to the one side, so I kept pulling it over, and now I think I've got it fairly straight, straight enough. But now, when I took a picture of it and I came back to look at it, I saw that I was missing pearls here to make it, it really should be even with it, so I'm going to replace them. And then um, I did the, you know, the initial thing to put it, and I could probably just finish this off with a little bit of short chain to back and lobster and be done with it, except I'd like it to be a tad bit longer, but not a lot. And I also think there's just like too much here, so I'm going to split this right here in the middle here and here and here and just put another small um, bead in there of some kind. And maybe we'll get to do that together today. And then as far as this tassel goes, as far as I'm concerned, I just kind of felt like it needed. I mean, you could, you could, don't have to put anything on there. You could just have it, you know. But there's a hole there, so it deserves to be filled. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So I thought I would put this tassel on. And it's, um, I don't know what you guys think. I think it's too wimpy. I think this is wimpy for this. Anybody got any thoughts on that? About the wimpiness? This goes in the middle. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. And then, I sh and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let's see who else is on here. Uh, Susie B. Yep, New Zealand it is. You have a good memory. I don't know. I try. <laughs> Sometimes I do. <laughs> okay, Ronald Silverberg's here. Samantha Mansell's here. Carrie Ramsauer from Rainy, California. Yes, yeah, raining out there lately, I hear. How about that? Um, Deborah Long says agreed and needs some more weight. Use a tulip bead cap thingy to hold the tassel or cone bead cap. Yeah, that's a good idea too. This is what I'm going to do. This is, it needs more weight, Deborah said, and she's right. So whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, this is what I'm going to do, and I'll show you. Tell you what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to take this thing off here. And this it's kind of small, so I'm going to work with two pliers. Take this off, and I'll put that back on there because I don't want to lose my tassel. I might be able to, you know, use it for something else after all, right? Yeah. So I'll just set that over here someplace. Okay, so now it's empty. Now I have two choices as far as I'm concerned today, unless I change my mind again. And that would be... Don't hate me, but I have a manor house uh, spinner. And they never finish that into jewelry. And you know, manor house is one of my favorites from 1928. So I actually have a complete spinner. It just wasn't finished into jewelry. So I've been saving it for just the right thing. And I could use that. And it looks okay, but it, what do you guys think? I don't think it's the best choice still. Because I got all this white going on here. And yeah, I've got some gold. I've got gold in the chain. And I got a little bit of gold peeking out here in the back. Um, uh, might want to save that. What do you think? Yes, yeah, so Pat Walker says, wear his watch. Yeah, I had a watch on one of them. I took it off. He's a little something extra. No, Pat Walker says. Um, it competes with the doll. This, does that compete with the doll? Maybe. I don't know. For me, it doesn't compete with the doll so much as it does a little bit, maybe. It just doesn't. The gold it is not working. I mean, it's okay. But it just shows you a lot of times we get pieces and we put stuff together and we say, well, what do I have that works there? And we go with whatever we have. Instead of saying, you know what, I'll put it aside till I come up with the right thing. So this is what I'm going to do, whether you guys like it or not. For today, this is what I'm going to do. Because after all, I'm not going to sell this. You know what I do with them. Okay, this is what I did. Now, I just want to see if this would work first. This is not the ring I'm going to use. But I made 
uh, the other week I made a little mini collage, you know, mini assemblage. And um, I put it, I, I, I split a spoon. Where are those? Javi, are they over there? Is, it, is there that basket or something? Is, it, is there one of those spoon findings over there? No. Okay, well, I don't know where to put it, rats. I had one. Um, you guys know the big spoon that I love to work with. Here's, an, here's the other half I'm working with, too. I'm not putting this on there. But, um, I don't know. No, it's too much. Um, I split it in half and turned it, and and then I put that on there because I thought that'd make a nice pendant. I was just put a gold chain on, which I might end up still doing that. But then I thought I'm gonna take one of these circuits and split it because I didn't have a jump ring big enough. Um, so I, well, maybe I can put a circlet because circlets come in handy. Let me tell you, but you know. I got to get it on here, and I had already turned this, and I didn't want to pull it up again and get it out of wax. So I thought, well, let me see if I can split it, because they're they're commonly not split. See, here's one of them in the gold, and this is the one I'm going to use for now. Because I don't have them in gingerbread, but, you know, just color it with markers. Um, but anyhow, right or wrong, this is what I'm doing for now. It sure is better than what I had. And then I'll set it aside and think about it, and I'll take a picture and I'll think about it. But I split this. Um, somebody said a smaller ring would help. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. But this is what I'm going to do for today. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll hang some little things here, too. I don't know. I See, if you go smaller with a circlet, what happens is it gets too thick and it's too small and it, it, it won't work for you that way either. Now like uh, a small toggle end, it seemed like I had one laying around here we could try. A small toggle end for, where did I see that thing? For a gold plated. Could work, what do I got in here? No, never. Um, oh, yeah, like this is this is this is big, but a smaller, smaller one. one. Okay. Yeah, and I saw some in here too. And where they are now is anybody's guess. I think they're over there someplace. Um, so if you used one, say that had the loop here. I don't know that it'd go on any easier. It'd just make it hang down more, so I don't like that. I don't like it, just make it hang down more. So, let me put that back before I lose it. Okay, now I'll just show you something with these. They're kind of tough, and you think, well, you know, what am I gonna do? I have to get a, my jeweler saw out or something? No, um, I discovered that you can cut them with the cutters. Pull chain from top corners down to the ring. I don't know. These only come in so many sizes, so for me to do something else, guys, I'll have to make something. And believe me, I thought about that. I thought about doing some a thick jump ring that was, uh, you know, all to itself that I made it, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't uh, hold up like this. This is very strong. So what I do, I'll watch it not work. So I take it, and I just try to find out where it will work best, and I think it's here. Okay, it's going to go flying. Or I may stop. Nope, there it goes. It snapped. Now, you don't want to use your good ones, real, real good ones. Have a pair of junk ones for that because it might stress a little bit. Let's try this. So now I can split it and get it open because commonly it's not. All right. And I have to open it a good bit. And once again, you could say, well, why don't you just lift this up and stick it under there? I could. But if you've ever done these, you'll know that it's really easy to get your bill off. And then it's hard to straighten it up afterwards. So I'm, nah, I'm not doing that. So I have to go get something to go through. And I've got something now. What do you have? 
Oh, here's the spoon. This is the spoon I'm talking about. You guys know the spoon. I'll talk more about it in a minute. It's a shell one. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm seeing another problem with doing this. Uh, the fact is, there's a point in time where you either have to take a project and throw it back for a while because it's just not happening, or you go ahead with it and you make it. Because being honest, I see stuff all the time that people make. And I'm like, uh-uh, no. I don't like that. That's not the right thing. But I don't say it because, you know, on the group especially, I don't. I, we're not into that kind of critique. You go, guys, go ahead and say whatever you want here. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Because, you know, if I keep it this way, I might keep it. I might not. Just try and stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to make that call and decide what will work best for your people. See, I like the balance of this. I like how this is continued straight down. I do wish this was a little bigger, but I can't cut a piece out and then rejoin it. It will throw it completely off. So now here's another thought. Here's another way it could go. All right, so I have this brass ox jump. And I think this is big enough. Let me take this out and see. You're going to say, will you use that ugly brass ox thing? <laughs> well, I'm just going to see if it fits. And then, yeah. I, and then I'm going to make it match. So how, how would you guys make that jump ring match? Make the jump ring match? Yeah. That's a good question. How would you make it? Add paint it. <laughs> exactly. We're painters, aren't we, girls? So let's just see first if it works. Because I agree, that is rather large. I think it's handsome, but then until I put a jump through here, it's going to hang down further, and I might end up not liking that. So let's see. What happens? Okay. These are kind of tough, too. And I don't sell these at site right now, but I'm contemplating getting them. Because there are times when a large jump comes in handy. And I don't know, eyeballing this, it looks like 14, maybe. It might be a 12. I thought we had some of those, but I guess. We did it one time. And oh, then I got away right. from it because uh, people weren't buying them. They're bigger, too. And, you know... You just don't always need it, but there are times that, boy, they come in handy. In fact, here's another thing you do with them. Let's just, just explore this for a minute. Okay, so here, oh, there's a gold one. Is that gold? <laughs> no, it's so brass ox. Okay, I don't think I have that. All right. You, I mean, you could so make this into just an earring. Oh, yeah. You know, you would want to be sure that you had this really nice and flush closed. And no, you don't have to solder it. Just so long as you get it flesh closed, you're fine. See, that's tight. I mean, there's just you can't hardly see any separation there. And then proceed from there and make your dingly things there and thing here to hook it. You know, you could have something cool with that. So just from simple jump rings, you could do it. But yeah, this, um, hmm, I'm thinking maybe this might be the way to go. Now, What's my next dilemma? My next dilemma would be I gotta find the right jumps to go in there. That's kind of bright. I don't know if I have any matte satin ones in a six. This has got to be a six. Maybe it's a five. I don't know. But let's see. I want something not too big because I I don't want, you know, like another great big jump there. Now this one's fighting me. Why is that? Because it's not our usual jump. It's one I just sampled and tried, and it's okay, but I'm not bringing them in for you. Could you, you use you guys an oval jump instead? Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I got, ooh. Did you see them back here, Javi? No, I just, I was thinking about This it. is kind of <laughs> small, but yeah, oval might be good. Let's try that. Let's see what everybody's saying. I thought it was only my problem. I can't find something there. <laughs> no, I think everybody here has that problem. Lisa Lomer is here. Melissa, hey, sweet Melissa. Deborah Puckett's here. Julie Kidd. Carrie. I lose the large, Melissa says I use the large jumps quite a bit. 
much better with a smaller jump. Okay. Now, you know, these come in smaller. I don't know if Javi wants to go out there. Go over, maybe you could go over to the computer, type in um, circle it. And I think there's some raw brass ones out there that are smaller. We could try one of those. Uh, let me go look. Yeah. Or you can look on your phone. I've, I'm almost positive I just saw them before we came For, on. Uh, raw brass, is it? Yeah, raw brass will work too because I'm just still with them. Oh, what did I do? I just dumped them out here. They are. Yep, we have them. Okay, how about getting me a pack, and yeah, then we'll sure. make a mark to, to, we'll make ourselves a, a mark to uh, not, you know, take it out of inventory. That's the one thing. If we go get stuff, we have to be sure it comes out of inventory, because then you guys will come and want it, and it won't be there. We try not to do that. Much better with a smaller jump, Karen says. We're going to see if we can get this circlet in a smaller size and see how that goes. I'm thinking, I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll just try it, and it's free to try. Well, close to free. I'm going to throw that out because it's all wonky now. Yes, liking. Melinda says, looks better with smaller. Oh, much better, Colleen says. That is balanced. Looks great, beautiful. Okay, so I must have hit on something right, guys. But see how it goes? See, you guys are like my, my camera. You know, it's another pair of eyes. Okay, here's the Okay, let's try that. That I think they're pretty tiny. Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's try it and see. I don't know if this is gonna make it. See we have these real they come in several sizes, but I don't think there's a lot of difference in what they have between us and Okay, so the thing is is I'm not gonna uh, I might I might just get it and that would be enough. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. What do you think? All right, take that off, and we'll see if I have to come back to it. And here we go again. I'm going to cut one. This, I might hurt myself. <laughs> hey, V, how you doing? Thanks for coming. Let's see. How, we got 43 on here. Cool. Wow. Somebody's going to win something, too. Dun, dun. I'm not sure. I'll decide by the end of this. Hey, I figured out this little bone oh, kind of fits in this little position. It does, but it's kind of blobby, don't you think? Of <laughs> course, oh, you can ask our pals on here. They'll tell you what they think, yeah, which is good. We want them to. It's just when I mentioned at the group, we don't get into criticisms there because there are a lot of pals there. Yeah, she at the end of that a, spoon. <laughs> yeah, but show them how it blobs up on it. Blobs? Like sideways blob? Yeah, sideways is too <laughs> high. Too high. You could put like a bunch of. Yeah, put that down you into could put it in a deep flower. Yes, Maybe. that's what I thought. Oh, if this works, it's just going to make it. Yeah. Just. Now, well, let's see if we have to fight it. That's a close call. Yeah, that's a close call. We might just make. What I should have done was distressed it first because then it would look brighter and I should have lacquered it first. But you know what? I got more of them. I'll take it off later and do it. So it's all fun. Fun and good. Okay. Hello, Brenda, she says. So glad you guys came. It makes me happy. I had um, kind of a weird week. <laughs> I have a, I've been on, you know, to do my class. You know, we're having the Build-A-Line class. Right? This is going to work, guys. Woo! Woo I can't believe that was going to work. It's going to work. Now i got to get it flush. And I've been trying to write in my book and then get into a place where it's just hard and uh, just you know whatever i need a little encouragement <laughs> so i'm glad you're here it's, it makes me feel makes me feel the love and i hope i can put a little bit of good energy out there for all you too okay what, I, what do you think what do you think do we have it i think we have it i think so too. what do you think hobby i agree she's looking over on the other ipad we got dueling ipads here okay <laughs> lisa lammer says how about some pearls in the tassel yeah Normally I would do that, but it would still be, in this case, because the chain's kind of delicate, kind of wimpy, I might have to do like a heavier chain, which I could do, except I only have so much room here for it. So, you know, that would take a little bit of engineering too. Could be done. It's a great idea. I love, I love lots of ideas. She says that the, the smaller one is sweet. Yeah, I think so too. I have a really nasty piece of steel wool here that I'm going to try and use and try to bring the yellow up on that. 
It's yellow. That was a song, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yellow. Who sang that? I don't know. Coldplay. I think it was Coldplay. Oh, I don't remember. I'm never, not never a big fan of yellow theirs, but I think it was. No, no. Yellow. It's yellow. The song is yellow. <laughs> yeah, it just song matter. just doesn't go too bad. Okay, so I brightened it up a little bit because it was kind of a darker patina. So now let's put this on. This is going to be a little bright. That's why I wish I had some matte or maybe some less, a little bit less shiny. I don't know. I think this is going to be too, well. Let's try it. I think this is too little. But you see how the process is fun, kind of to do something like this together. So I want to do this. This is what I'm going to do. And they're going to say, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Do this instead. I think you should this. I think it's that. I think it's cool. I love that. I love that. So who thinks maybe they'll come to the um, workshop this summer? I know Deborah said, unless something happens, she's going to come. She's going to be there. We had a, oh, goodness, this isn't going to work. It's too little. We had, um... Julia, Julia from Greece. Is it Julia? Is that how you say? I love her work. Her work is so nice. She's making so much jewelry lately, I don't think. But I'm so glad you came, honey. Thank you so much. Pat Hood, first time catching you live. Yes, better size ring. Yeah, I guess we hit it now. Just got to make sure now. Um, that the slit doesn't show. I mean, I've got it really nice and flush, but, you know, you don't want that to show. It's kind of stuck here at the side. You want it to go inside the ring, so maybe, you know, it won't come out. Irfani, how you doing? Did I say your name right, Irfani? Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. She's been coming a few weeks now. Let's see. Yellow is Coldplay. Susie B said, I'm right. <laughs> I love being right, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't have to make the same trip in April and not for my mate to all, oh, honey. I'm sorry too, but you know what? There'll be another year. There'll be another year, so we'll see you then. Hey, last year I got to see you twice, so. And you know what? We'll um, we'll do some lives. Maybe we'll do, can we do YouTube lives from the event? Yes, you can. Well, we're gonna do YouTube lives from the event. So nobody needs to feel left out if you can't make it. It's not the same as being there. I'm going to be, you know, honest, but it's it's still pretty sweet. And everybody will say hi to you. Okay, so now we got it. What you think, pals? Palsy wowsies. I think we got ignition. That's nice balance. I like how that carries through. Now, there's some stuff I want to do here because that's not quite right yet. And like I say, I want to split it again here and here and make it just a little bit longer. And then I think she'll be done. Did you see her little? She's got stars in her eyes. So I'm going to finish this up a little bit later. And I think that when we do the drawing today, whoever wins is going to get it. And then you could change it however you want, and then you could say, hey, Brenda, I changed your piece. Yeah, so if it's better, then cool. If it's not better, then I guess it's yours. You could do what you want. <laughs> yeah, whoever, whoever wins today is going to get this. Watch, they'll take it all apart and redo it. I don't care. Once it's yours, it's yours. I'm not like that. Yeah. Somebody says, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's a girl, Eddie. Who is that? Oh, I know. Edna Brownell. Yeah. Yep. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to patch this up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. And um, I'll put a little jewelry shield on this so it doesn't tarnish. Finish it up for you, and then it shall be yours. And as you can see, they're finished on the back, so I will sign it here. Okay. Now. A couple of weeks ago, you guys might remember that I redid this mess. Remember this mess we worked on together? It was so much fun. I love working on this stuff too with you guys. It's so awesome. Pamela says, I want to change a thing. Oh, Pamela, you just love me. That's all. So we made this mess. I No, you didn't make it. I did. 
actually it was a good start i kept the neckline the same i kept the the tassel the same but there you know this was like encroaching on the beautiful cameo and it just it wasn't filled out right and it just was all over so I said, I got to do something about this. So we talked about it together and I made something else. Where did I put it now? Oh, here it's it is. There. I didn't sign it yet because I got a little bit of cleanup on the back. I'll show you. But it's done now. And I have to say, I'm really satisfied with it. It just, I love um, how I went ahead and put the, the rhinestone around. I could still put a couple of pills in here. But you know, there just comes a place where you got to say, I'm done because when you get to that place and you keep going you're going to screw the whole thing up if you keep putting stuff because you know what there's always going to be another crack somewhere you can fill so there comes a time you have to say all right I'm done so Annette Parker won this and she's been very patient while I found the time to, to finish it because you know I I pointed out to you when we were working on it you know I had Something missing here, I had something missing here, some up here wasn't right, some stuff in here wasn't right. I had to get that big rose off the side, excuse me. And so um, I, I kind of had to wait till I had the right time and the right mindset to finish it properly because I wanted to be nice for Annette. So I got to a place where I'm pretty well satisfied with it. And if she wants to pop something else on it, she's certainly welcome to because once it's yours, it's yours, you do what you want. That's my motto. But um, I'm happy with it. So now, just to show you the back, how that went. I've got a little tiny bit of cleanup, but not much, because I work neat. And you might say, well, you've got these pearls hanging way out in the back. Yeah, that's that good. Yeah, it's fine. It's in there. It's in there to stay. This is like a rock. So um, I'm going to sign it right here. And it will belong to Annette. And Annette, I will send it out to you probably Tuesday okay so I'll send it priority mail and I can't remember where you live honey but if you don't live too too far um, you might have it by the weekend cool Let's sign it one more time one more time because I am loving this I don't know being honest if I would wear this because it's funny um, my taste has changed a little bit you ever have that happen I've always liked classic streamlined things, but I, I always seem to put all kinds of gaudy, funky stuff on. But I really like tailored, classic, streamlined things. And the more I've worked with Mr. Bernie, and he said, no, take that off there, no, that's not right, blah, blah, blah. You know, and sometimes I agree with him, and sometimes I don't. But I've learned a ton. And um, this is a beautiful piece, you know, for the right person who wears the right clothing. It's going to be gorgeous. I hope Annette's that person. If she's not, she can admire it. She can sell it. It's up to her, whatever she wants to do. If you sold it, Annette, don't sell it for less than $85, $95. Because you should get that. Okay, honey. That's it for that one. So now, what are we going to do? Okay, I said we were going to talk about this here spoon, this here spoon. I, we haven't done anything with spoons for a while. I know some of, I know Belinda made some really pretty spoons last week, and we saw them. Okay, so if you haven't been around my channel, around my tribe, as some people call it, some people don't like that, but you know, it's a good word. It's, it's, <laughs> it suits us, you know? It's like you're birds of a feather. You're the same group. flock. Your group, your flock, whatever. Um, you may not have seen a lot with the spoon jewelry. Now, if you've been around for a while, I did some videos on it. If you want to go back and see some videos on it, uh, scroll back about five years, six years maybe. Five, six. And you'll find the spoon videos. So anyway... What you can do with so cool, so cool with these spoons. I think this spoon right now is three fifty, three seventy five, something like that, which is very fair. It's solid brass. It's made in the United States from an old vintage mold from the fifties. I know it looks more like Victorian, but it's from the fifties. It's Victorian revival style. And in case you're not into vintage jewelry or vintage style, 
um, Victorian revival style is when they kind of came out with some revised tooling in the 50s and they recreated books that were kind of in Victorian period look but they were chunky and big and bold. More remind me of more Czech Bohemian than anything but it is Victorian Revival and that's what this piece is is Victorian Revival. So what you do is you cut it and I'll show you right where you do that. You cut it right here right along here straight and you try to get that cut as straight as you can because if you don't you're going to have a lot of sanding either with your dremel or by hand filing whatever you're going to have a lot to do so try and get it as straight as you can now i'm going to try to score this with my junkier pliers um, junkier cutters normally i would take uh something sharp downstairs and I would score this pretty good and then I would go for it or I get I might get out my jeweler's saw some of you guys might have a cut off wheel for your Dremel I don't have one um, but it's really not that hard you can use these too in case uh, you don't have a pair of these after I use these I'll probably use these these shears are the bomb if you don't have a pair if you don't have a pair Run, don't walk to go get one. When you buy them from me, somebody else, just get them. We do have them in set, at the site. They're fifteen ninety five, I think. I have four pair of them that belong to me because I won't be without them. I have them all over the place. This is how important they are. Anne is here. Let's see who else came. Susie's back. Kara loves music. Lisa. Shadowbox. Heidi Blankenship. Hi, Heidi. Thanks for coming. Yeah, come see the replay. You know what? Many more people come see the replay, and it's fine. It's just I like when you're here because you can comment. You might win. Uh, let's see. A shadow box. Who said a shadow box? Shadow box. Bigger pieces. Oh, okay. To put them in a frame or something. Yeah. If you have a Victorian house especially, that would work. Okay, so I'm going to score this with my cutters and try not to break them. I don't want to cut through it with them. I'm just going to make a mark with them. Okay, go on that side, and then I'll go from the other side, right in the right place. Getting in that groove, so I'll be in the right place. So important to get this right. If you don't, you can fix it, but it's just not fun. Okay, so I've rocked it. You can see I've got a score line straight down there. Now, let's see if I can get through it with this. Normally, I can. I can't get my other finger out of the way. It's pretty thick. This is best for up to just 24 gauge, but uh, this is thicker than that. This is probably 18 or 19 at least, but you can, you can manage. All right, you see how it's coming apart already? We're almost there. Okay, see how that worked? Well, it's not hard at all. Okay, so now what you do, this is rough on the end, but I've got it fairly straight. A little high, but not bad. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get a big, big old wad of um, quadruple aught steel wool. Zero, 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 zero steel wool. Go to the hardware store and ask the guy for it. Believe me, he's got it. Very popular. You will save so much time if you get steel wool. People over here with their files scraping on this, you know, the, the jewelry school way, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. But you can, you can do the same thing so often with steel wool, and it just saves so much time. And you'll make this just as smooth as can be. But to get it bent into place, now you can see I'm going to have here more to work with. You can see this is a bigger um, loop than, let's go back to the little dolly. It's a bigger loop than this one. And that's because... You allow more on this side than you do on this side because this is bigger part. That's why. So that's why you want to do that. Okay. I'll put her back. Get her out of the way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this one to show you how to loop it 
And I'm not going to file it first. I'll have to I'll have to pull it back out to file. But I'll I'll do that. I, I just got done telling you don't do that. But these are bell making pliers. You guys probably have a pair of them. Now these are the smallest pair. I think they're 1.5 and 3 millimeters, something like that. They're okay. They're better for a little bit softer metal and a little bit um, smaller. But I can make them work, so I'm going to make them work. I would recommend you get the 3 millimeter and 5 millimeter. If you don't have bail making pliers, we have all three. So you can take care of, you can take advantage of our deals this weekend because we have a lot of them. And also, uh, people can win that flat. Did you show them the flat? Did we show them the flat? Oh, there's one over there on the desk. The flat. You know that big silverware cuff flat? I think there's another one over there because somebody's going to win it today. You know that big wide thing? People make cuffs from it. So I'm just kind of working it right here on this. I'll show them that in a minute. Um, I'm working it right here. I might use the little one first. This is just kind of like you just work it. And you got want to be careful that you work it equally and straight. So I'm going to bend it up just a little bit. Coax it. And I'll do it a little bit from the other side too. And coax it. Sometimes I can bend it. I use my desktop a lot for leverage. Okay, so I've got it bent up. So now I want to get the back. So I'm going to start here at the end. I'm going to start rolling it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get that baby rolling. Maybe it's time for the chicken. I don't know. Where is he? Yeah. This is kind of giving us a weak buck buck today. Let's see. Yeah, how you says steel wool is one of the best tips ever. It is. It saves you so much time. Gail Montayo. Hello, everyone. Such a lovely necklace you made. Love your work. Thank you so much for this. Well, thank you, Gail, for coming, and thank you for saying such nice things about us. Appreciate it. But you see how this is going, guys? Now, it just takes a little coaxing. I'd like to go ahead and get it bent all the way down for you so you can see how it goes. But right about this time, I'm going to get the bigger end under it. I'm going to start trying to close it. Now, you want to get this nice and even when you close it, because if you don't, you have a wonky loop. And I'll throw your whole design off. Okay, I'm down. Now, if you don't want it back that far, you can just bring your loop around and just pull it up a little bit and then continue to bend it down again. And I've got this one nice and square, nice and flush. Good deal. Now, if you can see that on the side, do you see how I've got some space in here? You'll want to try to close it the, mo the best you can, which I've done on here. It's pretty well closed. It could be better. Or else just be sure that when you put this on a chain, get chain that is heavy enough that it's not going to work its way out and come off. You know, and you can because you've got a really nice big loop. And I think it might look better if you use the more handsome chain, thicker chain. Like, for example, this is kind of a dainty chain. Let's have a look at it. So this would totally work. Pretty. But, um, and I don't think it's going to work its way out of here. Although I might endeavor to close out a little bit more. But I'm thinking I would maybe want something a little bit more substantial. Let's see. Well, I have this stuff, too. And it's kind of dainty. No, this stuff. Sadly, I don't have any of this to share with you. I think I was saying it on the video the other day how expensive this stuff is. But it's all hand-wrapped, and this is meticulously done. I think Mel gave me this piece of chain, actually. That's pretty. That's an, you know, it's still delicate, but it's got some substance to it, and it's not going to come working out from there. That I think that might be my choice for that one. Or let's see if you use something a little bit heavier, like this, this bead link chain, which is my all-time fave. But I think it fits through. Yeah, it does. I think you do use that, too, for something a little bit more substantial. And that is really pretty as well 
But I think I would go up with of the three. I'd go with this. What do you guys think? Just watching on my smart TV. Oh, good for you. Yeah, I get it on my smart TV too. I like to do that. Erica found me. Oh, baby. You found me, Erica. I'm so glad. You know Erica. Remember Javi Erica? Erica Price? Yeah, Erica Price. Yeah. yeah she's She found us. <laughs> she found us. You know what? I like this too because um, this is softer. Like this is kind of bright for you. It's okay. It works. But this, you know, if you've got more of a matte type of, this is really yellow. But I love it. I think that'll be what I'll put on when I finish it. That cane is gorgeous. It is. I I wish I had some to share with you, Jan. Um. Now, what will I do to finish this? Well, I need to put something on here, and then I thought maybe I would just get these aren't glued down. I'm just putting them in there. Some of them even have glue residue because I use them with something else. Just put some down around in here and then put some small ones in too. And you know what I might do to finish it off? Serolum. What do you think, Jan? Are you still there? What do you think about Serolum? She does a lot of Serolum. I think if I was to tuck a little bit, where's my pointer? A little bit of Serolum in here. And I wouldn't put it like, Fill it up all the way. You don't need to. Just, you know, a thin layer of it along in here. Or you can take little, make little balls, you know, and put it on the back of your pearls and lay it in like that, and it'll be good too. Um, and I don't know. I think I might just put it along here and then let everything catch. And then I could layer a few more little pearls like these kind on top just for some depth and dimension. And those I would glue in. Because I'd have to. I wouldn't be able to get serum in there again without making a mess. I mean, I could do it, but I think I'd make a mess. So that's what I'm going to do with that. So I'll have to show you that, you know, another day when I get it finished. But guess what? I will. There's always next week. There's always a nice picture where I can show you on the group. I think just about everybody I'm seeing here belongs to the Beast of Boutique's creative group on Facebook. If you don't, bleep. Believe me, you are very warmly invited to join us. And we would love to have you. Irfani, you can get in too. Just come and ask to get in. You'll get in. Janice, you see Irfani come. Let her in. I said so. Um, so, if you're not, please come over because then you can, you know, chat with everybody all week long because we're on there. Most all of us here I see here are on there. Pat Walker says, what is serolin? Do I have it out? Yeah. Javi, can you hand me that those, those bags that are way over there? Those nasty little looking bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to get into this by mixing it because you need to have gloves on. But this is serolin. See, who all is on here that uses serolin? I know Jan uses it a lot, and she is good at it. Jan says, I like seeing the ridges and spoon. I do too, but it just doesn't feel finished to me. So, I don't know. But yeah, that is pretty that way. I have to say, I do like, you know, you're taking the design away if you fill it up too much. Okay, now. This is made by Swarovski, and it's an epoxy resin clay. Okay, and it smells like resin too. Real strong, it smells like resin. What you do is you cut off one equal part of this. Usually I just slice it with a knife that I have set aside for this. And then um, I slice it with a knife on this side and I get equal parts and then I mix them together until they're all one color. And then it's good to go. You're ready to go. And then you know when you're done using it, you gotta keep it sealed up really good. Some people put it in a refrigerator keep it from drying out because this stuff is you know you think oh Swarovski is going to cost a ton I think Serum costs what eight seventy five eight ninety five a box something like that anyway uh, and you get about the same amount as uh, crystal clay if you remember working with crystal clay there's this harder it's harder to find now 
But um, if you worked with crystal clay, then it's a similar product, but it's better. Crystal clay was always so tacky. I, I mean, I don't mean tacky looking. I mean tacky to work with. And um, I, I didn't care for it, being honest with you. But this stuff I love. And what you do is you can put, like, for example, I could put it just right, take a ball of it and flatten it out right here and stay within the bezel. And then I could start putting rhinestone chatons and things. I could do my assemblage into it. They will hold like glue. It's gorgeous stuff. What do I have here? Oh, here, I got a piece with it. Let me share this with you. I still haven't made anything from this. Okay. This is a piece from BCM 1928, and it's done on top of walnut serum. You can't even see it because I've inlaid everything down into it. Instead of gluing it down, I put a thin layer of serum under this and just patted it out with my gloved finger. And then I started putting my rhinestone chain in. Just I wanted to make it like in a swirly pattern, you know. And then I took and put a few little Tiffany set chatons here, a couple little loose ones here. If you can see, see they're set down in there. And then I took some of these little flowers from BC 1928 and stuck them in there, and voila. And it's, it's, it's these are not coming out of here. I'm just put it to you that way. They're not coming out of here. I mean. I haven't tried to get it apart, but if I did, if I got it apart, it would be tough. They, they really cement it down in. But you've got, oh, an hour, hour and a half working time, maybe, 45 minutes at least. So if you, Barb says, a little goes a long way. It does. Yes. Oh, somebody put the sign, the, so Javi must have put the serum link up. And Ceralune lasts ages as long as you sell what you don't use. That is exactly right, Erica. That's right. So, yeah, there's a video on it. Diane uh, Hess, who works here with us and also instructs, um, she made a really good Ceralune video. I made one or two. So there's not tons of them, but there are some, and we need to have more of them, too. So you will. And there, there is also a very good one that Swarovski themselves has made. So, you know, Diane, when Diane did, she showed you how you can dust uh, perfect pearls over the top mica powders and change the color. And so going forward, I'm not buying colors anymore. I'm not buying black. I'm not buying walnut. I'm not buying red because we used to have black walnut, red, and white. It's not necessary. From now on, I'm buying white only. That's only what I'm stuck. Sta stocking and if you want to change the color then you get mica powders and if you can't get perfect pearls where you are use old use old eyeshadow works just great because you know what eyeshadow is mica powder too so i'm not saying go get perfect pearls and put it on your eyes it would not be a good idea because perfect pearls has a resin binder and that's another reason why it works so well with the serum because serum is resin too so it's like Two resins coming together is great. But um, eyeshadow will also work, so you can do that too. So that's what you can do with serum. Let's see what people are saying. Ron is cooking so I can stay here. Oh, Ron is a great guy. Erica sent me a heart. Wow, I like that. It opens many doors. I think so too, Pat Walker. I think so too. I love it. Oh, Belinda says she used Ceralun for her spoon necklace. And you know what? It is a really great thing, too, because what you could do, just to tell you in a nutshell, you could take and make a ball of it and set it down in here, you know, just right in the middle. I don't know how you did it, Belinda, but um, that's what I would do. I wouldn't put it clear out to the edge. Put it here, and it, just enough that you can stick your stuff into Belinda made hers. Um, if you go in the creative group, you'll see hers. She had, I think one had a B in it, and it was kind of flying sideways, and then she had like some flowers and leaves coming out this way and then coming out here this way. So it was very, very nicely balanced. It was very, very pretty. So you stick that down in the serum, and if you are afraid it will show, then you can take your mica powders or whatnot 
and color the cerulean so it's darker and it doesn't show because um, cerulean comes in cappuccino which we might still have some of the cappuccino it's one of the best colors for colorizing grass and stuff if you want to make it look dark <clears throat> you can put cappuccino over it i think there are darker charcoal maybe there's an heirloom gold so there's a lot of metallic colors you can use and it really works heidi says Brenda, do you know when you have a small no hole pearls back in stock? I think they were four millimeter. Heidi, I just ordered the mother of all loads <laughs> of the pearls. But I commonly get 1.5 to 3 and I mix them. So that's how they're coming in. But if you need a 4, uh, we could do that. What would be good is if you message me at Facebook or you message Jordan at bisuboutiques.com, J-O-R-D-A-N, all lowercase, at bisuboutiques.com and just email him and say, hey, tell your mom I want four millimeter no hole pearls. And I, I usually get cream and white. So if you just will remind me, I'll do it. I might remember, I might not, because you know, I haven't seen your moments. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies. I, I'm late, but I can rewatch it. Yes, you can, Alexander. And Alexander, many more people watch afterwards. I was amazed how many in the last few weeks have watched afterwards. Kelly Weimer's here. I don't specifically need for me. I just couldn't remember the size. Well, we have a mix. If you like a mix, we have. I think. It's so a one gross mix, but we might amp that up to two because I got a better price. And when I get a better price, then you guys get the benefit of it every time. I I always pass that on. So um, I see what they come in as. It'll be a few weeks yet. And then, then they'll be in. Okay. So just, just remind George, write it down. Yeah, I can't do it right now, V. I'm working with you guys. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'll try to remember it. Have you one right now? I don't. Um, uh, Heidi was, no, Heidi, yeah, Javi, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi was asking for four millimeter, there no is hope pearls. We none? Oh, no, she already looked. I already looked. Well, you want to write it down? Yeah. On something? Okay. Your word, your wishes are command. We did that. Okay, so now there was something else I think I wanted to tell you before I, finish up. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask them. You know, comment on here because every person who comments on here gets counted to win. You know, I'd love to see you win. So, finally, I'm ready for my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> she lives on the other side of the world, too. Yeah, um, some people have wondered, you know, how we do the videos. Um, just to let you know, now the, the lives, I'm just talking off the top of my head. We don't usually edit them. I should mention to tell you about this too. We don't usually edit them, so there's not too much work except for the prep. And then you might say, well, it doesn't look like you prep very much, Brenda. This is just a lovely mess. Um, but I worked on this stuff all, all afternoon yesterday just trying to get it right. So, because I want it to be right. So I'd love to see me win also. Thank you. Yeah, we all want to win, right? <laughs> Everybody wants to win. Fine gold chain you tried out on a spoon necklace. Uh, no, I don't have it. This kind, Erica, I can get more of if you like this. But that beaded chain, no, I can't get it for love nor money. And if I could, you would hate what you'd have to pay for it. It's just ridiculously expensive. Um, but anyway, we usually, for the for our rendered videos, like the one we did Friday, that's a produced video. Um, sometimes we have to start and go back and, and try to, you know, sometimes we have to go back and start again because I goof up and other, other stuff happens, you know. She has to edit things out and put stuff in, add links. If you look... At the top of the video, you'll see a little eye in a circle. And in case you don't know what that is, if you click on that, the things I'm using in a major sense in the video, she has a slide out. Yes, can, on the top. Yeah, tell her. them about that, Javi. 
how that slides out and they can click on the products and go have a look mm -hmm. at them at the site. You if know. you guys are trying to find anything, on the top right corner there's a little eye and it will pop out what it like a vintage stamping or a Victorian stamping. It will say it right then and there and then you can click on that and go to the website. If you want it. Yeah. Or you just want to look at it closely. Either way. <laughs> yeah. You can pause the video go look at the piece. Um, so there's that. And also, somebody called me yesterday. This was really interesting. I like to share it with you. Um, she called. She says, "Well, do you have a website?" This was new to me. And I'm like, um, "Yeah, I do. I have a big website." It's like, "Oh, you know, where is it? Why don't you put it on your videos?" Well, I'll tell you what. If you're new to me, the URL for the website comes up at the beginning of the video, underneath when I'm yakking. And at the end, she puts it up again. And then we have a, a hot link or a clickable link in the description so you can go to it. And there's a links I put at the I actually put three links up Do for you? the video. And so you can find it and find out what Visa Boutiques is about. I have been in this business in one way or another for 30 years. And I've been exposed to a lot of product. I love the vintage style, so it's kind of where I landed. Um, I... I'm not an expert in vintage jewelry, but I'm quite knowledgeable. And I also know a lot about stampings and how they're made and who made them and when and blah, 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 style. I've I, I just picked up a lot of stuff over the years. I'm an assemblage artist. That's what I do primarily. But I like to try to do lots of other things, too. Sometimes I'm successful. Sometimes I'm not. But we do all of our videos, at least at this time, we do them for free. I don't have a tip jar out. I'm not asking anybody to go fund me, anything like that. You know, I'm a business. So I support my video making the way most good businesses would do it. They ask you to patronize our website, which I almost never do. I'll just say, oh, it's at the website. Because at YouTube, you can't get uh, real salesy. You know, we don't want to concentrate on that anyway. We want to concentrate on being friends and learning. But even if you can't come very often, even come once a year or whatever, if you have a little bit to spend, I would rather serve you than someone contribute because this is not a charity here. This is our family's business, and we do count on it. So when you choose us as a supplier, that's what I want to say most of all, when you choose us as a supplier, we really appreciate it a lot. And I, I see the names come up here, and almost all of you have come to see me and have bought a lot of stuff or sometimes a little stuff, but I appreciate every order and every last one of you because when you do that, it means I can continue. None of us can continue anything if we're not funded somehow, so... Um, that's how it's funded, is by your patronizing me at the site and me giving you nice things that you want at good prices. And we always have sales. There's on the home page, there's a, a box where it says, don't shop without a coupon. Always click on that and get yourself some money off, you know. And uh, some we're doing, this is the last day. I did it the last three days. I started Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And a bunch of you got in on, on it already. Um, we did... Um, Code 20, all caps, T-W-E-N-T-Y, and you get 20% off 125. So it's for a big order, being honest. And then if you really want to do a big order, I lowered my bulk order to 25% off, which is the My25 code, and you only have to have 150 instead of 250. That's today. But then what I was doing every day, I'm giving one of these away. And this is a cuff flat. You can make a cuff out of it. And you can bend it. In fact, if you go back on my videos, you'll see how to do it. Because I show you. you just, I bend mine with the fingers. And I make a cuff out of it. And it's gorgeous. A lot of you guys have done it already. What's special about this one is it's silverware silver plate. And that is a very expensive finish. It's three microns thick. 99.9% .9 fine silver. So when this goes in the bath, it's like going down in molten silver. So this plating is over brass, but it will behave like sterling. You could stick this down in a liver of sulfur, and it'll turn black just like silverware would. Not silverware, like just like sterling would. You know, it'll respond just like sterling does. 
So the only thing about it, you do have to polish it and clean it once in a while, but it doesn't tend to tarnish real fast. But it's just got a really muted coloration, and I don't carry it at the site. I carry this in raw, but I don't carry it in silver because it's just so dang expensive. The plating on this costs three times what the brass does. So I only get them on special order. I do have some customers that will come and they'll get like two dozen of them and they let them last all year. But they've got clientele for that, you know, so. Anyway, so that's what this is. I'm giving one away every day. So let's see who won. Ginger Hammond won on Friday. And Tina Noonan won yesterday. So we're going to see who wins it today. And, and it's just to be any order that's placed uh, from midnight last night till midnight tonight gets in on it we have a number chosen and we'll go back and number them and if you got the number you're you're it baby you get it in your order so that's how that goes okay enough of all the blabbity blabbity let's see what people are saying i watch other yt lives the little doll oh the little dollar icon lower right is used we should be tipping you for this instruction service no you shouldn't uh-uh is that for a, is that for them to tip to tip you, a dollar icon? A dollar icon. Shit, Nancy was saying there's a. Oh yeah, there is a thing. Yeah, That's well, for you're not. Cats to get up on yeah. noticed for the person. Well, I don't know if there's some way that. Oh, I see. Top life chat. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I and see. You can see what they say. Uh huh. Or, I see. Know. Yeah. Sometimes people have. You guys questions. can just talk here, or you can email me. You know where I am. I don't want you to pay for this. You know what? I'm just saying. Come to the website and get something for my money. Don't throw five bucks at me for nothing. Go to the website and get something. That's what I want you to do. I'm not starving, but I'm not getting rich either. We just we just get by, and we're happy with that because we don't want anything. We just want your friendship, and we want to keep doing what we love. That's all. And we're good. So it's all good. I just did. Don't do that. Oh. And I was thinking I could we could always make a video on like demonstrating the website a little bit. I could make you yeah, that a would be quick good. video. Yeah, I, I want you to come to the website and get things for yourself. Don't don't tip me. I don't want that. I'm just telling you, <laughs> this is how we make it. We can keep doing this because you choose us as a supplier. Maybe once a year we're your supplier. Maybe once a week we're your supplier. <laughs> when you choose us as a supply as your supplier for whatever, even if it's one thing, you help us to continue make videos. And as you see, I've been making them for nine years. I haven't quit yet, so I'm not going to. I love you for your thoughts, Nancy. That was cute. I see your little face sticking up there, too. You're a cute, cute lady. <laughs> it would be helpful to have a guy for the website, Betty Storman says. Well, then, Javi. Yay. <laughs> you know, Javi makes videos, too, so I guess she will be doing it. Jacqueline Zofield says, the first time watching live. Love it. Yeah, there's other things you can do with lives, too. I think they have a preview thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. So you can, people can chat ahead of time. Yeah, you can start talking. It's like a preview. And you know, I see you guys talking to each other sometimes, and I love it. I love it to see that. Because we're forming a stronger community that way. And we, you know, if you come to the group, you'll see that on Facebook. We help each other. A lot of times, you know, I might be having a really busy day. And I can't get on there, you know, real quick. And I might miss somebody has a question. The girls jump in and ask the question, answer the question for me. And I love it. It's so nice when we do that. I never mind. It's great. And when I come back and I see what they have to say, you know, then it's good. It's good. So, um, let's see, Linda DePra, I'm too late. No, you're not, honey. You're, you just you said, just made you it. just made it because you said something that means you're entered into the prize <laughs> rubber chicken's happy <laughs> you're entered into the prize drawing for today which I'll post on this video between 15 minutes and 30 minutes afterwards oh, here she comes the rubber <laughs> chicken and um, also you can always go back and watch it again because YouTube archives it so we're all good let's see what everybody else has said. Carrie mentioned doing a video on your favorite tools and why you like them. Ooh. I've done that. My big time, but maybe time to do it again. My big time favorites are my wolves, which I'm always saying, wolves, wolves, wolves are the best. Um, don't buy Lindstrom. So don't spend all that money. The yeah, the bail makers are I nice. Like the They're beadsmith. Um, I use, uh, my cutters are Zeron, and they're, Every bit as good as expensive um, 
uh, Lindstrom ones. And what's that other company? I can't remember now. Tronex. That's it. And they'll spend that. Because it all goes dull eventually. These are nice for the money, and I'm out of them because I can't get them right now. That's the thing I hate about it. I buy a big load of them. People buy them down. I go to get more. Oh, we can't get that right now. So I don't know what's up to, with that. I hope they don't stop making them. I love these. Awesome. And another thing is these basket cut pliers. These basket cut shears. I love these things. Years ago, I used to go up to Linda and Opie O'Brien's house every summer for a day. And we would make jewelry together. And they would teach me stuff. And in case you don't know them, they wrote Metal Discovery Workshop. They're retired now, but they used to be like the darling favorite teachers on, this on the teaching circuit if you went to take classes. And they lived close enough I could go there, so Shelly and I would go. And they gave me my first pair. And then when they retired, they gave me the resource so that I could continue to, to carry them for people that they used to get them for and also for my customers. So that was really sweet. So that's how they came. Okay, let's see who I've been not talking to. Dora. Welcome, Dora. Thank you, Dora, Dora for coming. Okay, I'm going to have to go because it's 5.43, and I think oh we goodness. started on time, didn't we? Did we start on time? Uh, like a minute late, but that's Yes, really so we've been <laughs> on here for well over an hour. It looks like you guys aren't tired <laughs> <laughs> of us. People are still talking. <laughs> Linda says she loves her wolf flyers. Yeah, what's not to love? It is fantastic. They are fantastic. I got, I got to see if I can. Uh, you got to get more get of that more. Uh, jumpy tool. They're coming. They're coming. Okay. Yeah, I think they're yeah. coming tomorrow, or Tuesday. But they're, they're yeah, the jumpy tool. I see what, the ring on my finger. There's a video on this too. The ring on my yeah. finger called the, the jumpy on. tool. Yeah, it's called the ring. Most of you use them. I'm showing my Pittsburgh, Pittsburghies. <laughs> um, if you don't have one, get one. I don't care who you buy it from, except be careful when you buy it. If you buy an El Cheapo one for 75 cents somewhere, it's not the slots in there are going to be too skinny, and you're going to be mad and say, why didn't she tell me about that? garbage. If you get mine, they're going to work for you <laughs> because I try really hard to make sure everything that I sell will work good for you, and that's why we don't get many returns unless we made a mistake on somebody's order. So... Do you like to finish out the backs of brass stampings with what so do you do and what do you use? Yes. I always finish this back. Okay, I'm going to show you this. I didn't get to this this time. We'll do this another time. Um, I got this far on this one. I'm trying to figure out what I want to hang from the bottom. You might have to bring it a little down. I'm sorry. Down, bring it down. Okay, thanks, Harvey. Um, this is finished on the back. I did patina and beach glass. Sea glass, I think it's called, is the name of the Krylon spray paint. I spray paint a lot of my stuff. It's just so easy. And it works out good. You have to seal it. So anyway, this is finished on the back. This is finished on the back. As you can see. And this is finished on the back. This is a commercial finish. I use brass ox findings to do it. So yes. You always want to seal it because... Raw brass will oxidize, and it could turn somebody's blouse, make a black stain on it, if you didn't do that. Or it could, some people are allergic to brass, Not the, there's no nickel in brass, but some people are allergic to it, and you know you don't want that to happen. So if you spray it, you create a, a barrier. You can use jewelry allergy shield on the back too, and I don't know if we're out of it or not, but I'll order some. Um, I usually always have some. And if you put that on the back, it will also seal it so it won't break them out. But yes, it, you need to seal it, yes. And the thing is, too, good night, everyone. Thank you, Julia, for coming. It's so nice to see you again, honey. I really appreciate you coming. Um, the thing about uh, the brass, raw brass is in the raw state, so it could be rough on the back. Like you can see, it's hollow. This is, means hollow because it's bumped up, it's dapped up. So when you feel around over the edges, a lot of times it's a little sticky sharp almost you know you'll catch so what you do here here comes the steel wool again get out that steel wool 
and you go around all the edges and it will soften right down and be just fine for you. Now, if you buy plated brass, it won't feel like that because the plating tends to soft it, soften it. But if you're working with the raw, so you can put your own colors on, then you want to steel wool it and you want to degrease it very well. So when it comes in, when you buy it, wherever you get it from, um, you need to go ahead and dump it in a tub of hot water with a little bit of Dawn dish detergent and then wash it and rinse it really good and dry it really really good bone dry another thing that works on it to clean it is vinegar mr bernie loves vinegar to clean brass the only problem with vinegar is is it's a patina agent so you need as soon as you get the piece clean you need to get it off of there so dunk it rinse it really good and then dry it bone dry and you won't have that going on unless you want it if you want it then you that's a whole nother video Okay, bye, Barbara says. Deborah Puckett's here. Thanks. Everybody's saying thanks, so they've had enough of me. You know what? I want to go eat something. It's time to eat. So <laughs> thank you guys for coming. French baskets out of stock. Yeah, we don't have them. That's a rare piece that was from my own stuff. Sorry about that. In there. Okay, thanks. You're funny. She has to take her daughter to school. Well, you tell her to have a good day at school. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yay! It was great. Okay, we had a nice session. See you next week. And if I can get to it, I'm going to try and do a video on Friday if I can. Okay, have a great week. Love you all.